not about race. It's about um, just being authentic and being who I am. And ultimately, at the end of the day, uh, I think for myself, uh, I, I just managed to create um, a clientele who, who likes who we are. Sana Brock is the owner of Lux Decor, a Montreal-based interior design firm. As a visible minority interior designer in a non-diverse industry, she uses her diversity to her advantage. For sure, the decor industry is predominantly white. But that being said, the clients are not. So I feel like um, I differentiated myself and my team by really not being about... Um, what clothes we wear, what cars we're driving. Um, it was really much more uh, client centric. You know, like the world is such a busy place. Uh, and to be able to recenter and to kind of quiet down all the noise from the outside world and make sure that when you go home, that your house is 100% tailored to you. I would say in a nutshell, that's what we do. And my vision, my passion was really along the lines of delivering people like their dream houses. Thinking how serene and how timeless this room is and how much we still love it. I think being a visible minority is actually a role that I take very seriously so that being diverse in my enterprise is important because I think our clients are diverse as well. So connecting with somebody that these, they see themselves in is very important. Due to COVID-19 and more and more people staying home right now, Sana has noticed a drastic increase in home renos. The traveling budgets have been reduced. We really see that people are investing in their homes. Um, and one of the things I can say is that I think in homes, um, the investment in kitchens and bathrooms is uh, is a valuable one. Um, if you don't have the budget to go full out and do a full out renovation, consider doing just a refresh. Um, so if you are cooped up at home and you want to make your house feel cozier, consider painting your walls, consider um, redoing your pillows, uh, adding some wall art and some fresh greenery. Oh, in Montreal, Faria Nakvi Mohammed, City News. We cannot accept that the majority of people pay 